Hello everyone. In today's video I will be showing you reasons why you lose your motivation and how to solve it. So without any further ado let's get into the video. 1. You don't value yourself. For one you don't feel like your finished chores are done correctly when you have self-doubt. To have that sense of drive to get going can be challenging. To start off on the right foot, try telling yourself some encouraging things. Consider the traits and attributes you admire most about yourself. Consider how you merit continuing to work toward your objectives, even if it has little to do with employment. The value judgments that people have about themselves are referred to by John Maxwell in his book. As, the most significant aspect in someone's psychological development and drive. Do you criticize yourself? Do you tend to be jaded or bitter? Do you believe that you are unworthy of anything? If so, this can be the cause of your lack of motivation. So this is the solution, use caution when talking to yourself write down your limiting beliefs to make the process easier, then identify and replace them with powerful ones. For instance, just because you haven't accomplished much thus far doesn't mean you won't be able to do so in the future. Here are some negative ideas to replace, I'm not able to do this. I just need to figure out how to accomplish it, but I can do this. I'm not deserving of success. I'll take what comes my way and put it to good use, you say. I've never been really good at anything. I'm already skilled at a lot of things and I can get even better at them. 2. You don't have a strong enough reasoning. The majority of people can explain why they do what they do. That response, however, is frequently insufficiently forceful or emotional. This is frequently a major factor in your potential lack of motivation. Consider your motivation for starting a specific endeavor. Why do you maintain your present position? Your why isn't powerful enough if your responses are flimsy and may just as easily be followed with a shrug or a, I guess. So here is the answer, clearly state your motivation. This doesn't have to be some ethereal process where you wait for the answer to echo in your head while gazing up at the sky. Just start outlining some of the motivations behind your actions and keep going until you find anything that moves you or makes you nod your head. Your why doesn't even have to be directly related to a certain project. For an otherwise boring project at work, for instance, your why could be, so my manager sees I can get in the weeds and get stuff done. Another illustration is that I'm currently learning the piano because I think that mastering a new instrument will boost my creativity. According to a Michigan State University study, scientists who have won the Nobel Prize are 2.85 times more likely to enjoy arts and crafts than the ordinary scientist. And Einstein was a violinist. It is only circumstantial evidence, but it motivates me. That is what counts. 3. Forgetting your goal. Every goal begins with a purpose, a justification for why you are investing the time to complete the task at hand. Forgetting the reason you began a goal is a surefire way to fail. It takes effort to motivate oneself to fulfill goals, and if you adopt the wrong mindset, success may frequently appear far away. It's crucial to be aware of potential hazards that could divert you because losing your way means losing drive and missing out on success. So you should be aware and stay motivated. Keep in mind all you've done to get to this point and why your goals will motivate you to move on to the next stage. Keep in mind what ignited your inner fire when times are tough. Recall why you first set out on this journey. 4. Your objective is too big you. You've chosen a challenging objective that calls for daily effort. But none of your tasks seem to motivate you to complete them. This occurs frequently because the objective overwhelms you. Since you don't have to physically feel overwhelmed in order to be overwhelmed, this can be mild. Even if you believe you have what it takes to succeed, you can find yourself putting off your chores. There is a strong propensity to put things off when one has too many projects. This is a result of the fact that they have taken on too much. They fear that they won't finish the tasks they really want to finish. Lack of motivation is largely a result of procrastination. 
people frequently accept more responsibilities than they are capable of handling because they find it difficult to say no. In light of this, taking on excessive amounts of work might make a person so disinterested in achieving a goal that they will actually overlook finishing many of their responsibilities. So this is the solution, examine your tasks. Do they fit in the space? Have you properly organized your project? Make your duties smaller if your subsequent assignment is to learn JavaScript. For instance, it is considerably simpler to complete the job of spend one hour per day going through Wes Bo's JavaScript course. It will be much. 5. Your surroundings are not encouraging. Your surroundings have a significant impact on your achievement. There is a lot of validity in Jim Rohn's adage that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. If you are surrounded by pessimistic and cynical people, you will develop those traits in yourself. It will be more difficult to motivate yourself as a result to achieve anything. Of course, it extends beyond individuals. Your immediate surroundings are important. When you have sugary goodies around the house, losing weight will be more difficult. So here is the solution, surround yourself with upbeat, prosperous individuals, and I define success broadly, not in its narrow monetary sense. Find out what aspects of your environment make you unmotivated. Take away such components and substitute motivators in their place. 6. You lead a sick lifestyle. A bad diet, insufficient exercise, and insufficient sleep are all major contributors to a myriad of issues in life. Six hours of sleep each night and a diet of Chinese takeout will certainly result in burnout and a lack of motivation over time. So here is the solution, calculate how much sleep you require, then consistently get that amount of sleep. Do some weekly exercise. Eat sensibly and healthfully. People who are motivated and happy have different physiologies than those who are not. They are often more active, stand up tall, and breathe more quickly. Motion is made by emotion. This also functions in reverse. Motion engenders feeling. By being active and moving around, you can trick your brain into feeling happy and more motivated. 7. You lack patience. You want things right away. You notice things that ought to be there but aren't. You work constantly with resentment because you believe the outcome should have already been achieved. Practice being grateful for what you already have as a solution. Although the world isn't perfect and you won't always get what you want, it's still a good idea to learn to be thankful for what you do have. Don't worry that being grateful will make you less ambitious. Not at all. You can strive passionately for the future you envision while yet being appreciative of what you presently have. The one does not negate the other. It's also critical to understand that success, however you define it, is a marathon, not a sprint. So thanks for watching. And if you are new, please make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications just so every time I upload you won't miss anything.